Good morning, House of Hughes. I just got out of the ice bath. That's why my shirt is off, but Blakely said all done. We make sure to honor whenever she says that she's done with something, so I have to let her out of her chair, and that's why my shirt's off. So, I just wanted to kind of get the first time she stands today, because she hasn't stood yet. I've held her and carried her to her chair. She's eating her breakfast, and now I'm curious to see if she's gonna stand up, if she's gonna crawl, or if she's gonna ask me to pick her up. So, let's see. Hey, baby girl. What you doing? Oh, stood right up. Oh, is your foot hurting, baby? Excuse the blow dryer. <laughs> baby, how you feeling today? Oh. My gosh, okay, okay, let's cuddle. You want foot? It's not that one that hurts. <laughs> okay, I am going to cuddle her and love on her. Hi. Oh, you wanna talk now? Can you give us a report? Can you give us a report, baby girl? How you feeling? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm coming to cuddle. Are you pulling a fast one on the house of Hughes? <laughs> Were you pulling a fast one on us? Okay, again, it's her left side. <laughs> okay guys, while Blakely plays, um, she is still favoring that left foot and kind of limping a little bit, so I have to chat with Rachel about what we want to do, but I just opened up Beckham's backpack from school because I just sent him off because today was the first day of preschool of the new year, and look at this. Two mom and dad love Beckham. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas from this little elf. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. Let me see, let me see. Sorry, I had to set you guys down for a second while I unwrap this. This was in the bottom of his backpack, so I didn't notice it whenever we took him home. And then his little seat, he doesn't sit in every day, he just sits in it for school, so that's why I, I missed this. Merry Christmas. Oh, Blake, one sec. Merry Christmas 2022 Beckham with his little hand. Oh my gosh. I remember bringing these types of things home to my parents and it's just so cute. Oh. That's so cute. I'm dying. Okay, well, Rachel is going to like, I'm sure she's gonna cry when she sees this. That's so cute. No throw? I didn't mean to throw, I just dropped it. Okay, just keep me honest. Okay, very last, sorry, um, I just remembered. Yeah, very last thing before I go to the gym and Rachel switches me um, and takes over vlogging for the day. A lot of you guys were asking why I do ice baths. Uh, I follow someone called Dr. Huberman or Huberman Labs, Huberman Labs on a podcast. And he has explained kind of some of the science, some of the dopamine benefits, as well as some of the brown fat benefits and... Uh, just a whole host of other benefits. I really honestly do it because I don't want to. Um, so it's just forcing myself to do difficult things. I'm just trying to follow um, in Beckham's footsteps. So every single morning when I wake up, it sounds like the worst thing in the world and that's why, that's why I do it personally. There's not a ton of other benefits that I'm seeking or it's not that I don't want the benefits. It's just that's the biggest reason that I do it is because I don't want to. So for those asking, that's why I do ice baths. And I just have like the 100-gallon Rubbermaid trough. So it was like $120 or $150 on Google. And that made it really inexpensive. I didn't have to buy one of the nice ones because I didn't care that much to have an ice bath. But I did want to um, do them consistently, especially going into 2023. So that's why I'm doing ice baths. Hello, hello. Good morning. I'm home from the gym. And Hunter gave you guys a little update on Miss Blakely. And I have an even better update. This little cheese Chica is dancing her little booty and we like you guys okay listen we're just gonna get really real right now I don't know what she is saying I think she's saying cockadoodle do send help please okay thank you so much Goodbye. know that you guys are probably missing Beckham so much because our video yesterday was so Blakely oriented so I am actually going to hold off on filming any more footage until Beckham gets home because I want you guys to say hi to him and I actually want to talk to you guys a little bit about Beckham's Botox and kind of an update on his medical care because I do need to give an update because it has changed and I'm sure you guys are wondering like, why hasn't Beckham gotten Botox? And as you can tell by today's title, I am going to be answering 
answering that for you guys today. So lots of updates in this video. She goes her own way, like I don't give a damn girl. And my God, she owns it. So many heartbreaks, goes back to 2014. And I think that she knows it. And if you've seen her, I know that you would believe it. Cause I, I know that you'd want her to. I thought I was filming guys. Oh, you missed it, but I very aesthetically put Blakely in her chair and gave her her chicken nuggets. Sissy, are those yummy? She's kind of freaked out because the fork just came out of the dishwasher, so it's a little bit hot. But I'm getting Blakely fed before Beckham gets home so that that way we can hang out with you guys, Beckham and I. Beckham. Yeah, you miss Beckham. He'll be home soon. Guys, look at Chloe's paws. She was only outside to go to the bathroom for like a couple minutes and it has snowed so much in Utah. Look at this cute little thing. Look at those little paws. Oh, sis, you're so cute and fluffy. She does need a haircut, but I can't lie. This long hair is so cute, but I wanna get it trimmed just so there isn't hair in her eyes, but she's so cute. Come here, baby. I love you. Oh my, oh, that's pretty cold. Oh my goodness, here, let's go wipe that off with the towel. You guys, look who just got home! Baba, look, it's all your friends! Oh my goodness, we can't wait to hear all about school. We are gonna feed this little guy. Did you just have the best day ever? Daddy told me that you were so excited to get on the bus this morning. Are you so excited to finally go back to school? Give me a hug, I missed you. Oh, it says you wanna give a hug. Good girl. but I also wanted to give him the opportunity to sit up after he ate. This is not only obviously helping with his balance, but it's also helping with his stretching. But as you can tell, it's additionally hard for him right now because his Botox is not fresh. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys about why that is. He just needs a little bit of additional support today. And the first thing I want to say is that we do have an appointment for him to get Botox next week and we will be filming that for you guys. The reason that we had to push it off an additional month, typically he gets Botox every three months, but this time we had to wait four months because unfortunately we lost our insurance and we had to wait until the first of the year to get our insurance back. Now, obviously, if Beckham was in so much pain that it was affecting the quality of his life and affecting him on a daily basis, then of course, here, do you want a little break? Here, I'll give you a little break, baby. It looks like that's just a little bit tough for us today. There you go, sweet boy. What I was saying is that obviously if he was in a significant amount of pain, then we would have just paid out of pocket without insurance. However, putting it off 30 days didn't make a humongous difference, and I also increased his dose of baclofen, and his doctor did tell me that that was totally fine. Botox is the most expensive medical treatment that we get for this little guy, so it is, of course, very beneficial for us to have insurance help us out with that. So I am so excited for him to get Botox just because it really helps him so much with his therapy specifically. I have been, like I said, increasing his baclofen and that has definitely helped keep him comfortable so we haven't noticed any additional pain. However, there is definitely a significant amount of tightness in his legs and I really, really want us to be able to work really hard on sitting up and work really hard in the gait trainer 
and having that fresh Botox just makes a world of difference for those specific movements. So I'm really excited for him to be getting that soon. It'll be in about a week. I will be vlogging it. The appointment is honestly the worst. It is so emotional for Hunter and I, but I know that it's what's best for him. And I know that he would thank me in the future for doing that for him. And so even though it's really tough, I'm grateful for the medical care that we have. I'm grateful that we're able to do it. So I am excited to get it done. So I just wanted to give you guys that quick little update about insurance Botox. We also wanted to update you guys on Blakely's foot. She has just been walking around dancing like a little mad woman as if nothing happened. Thank goodness. So we are all good. We are all good in the house of Hughes and we're off to an amazing start of the year. I feel really, really passionate about manifesting goodness, abundance, happiness this year. And I feel like we're already doing that. So I just want to tell you guys, I love you so much. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting our little man. We are just so grateful for you guys. You'll really never understand every single individual one of you means the absolute world to us. So of course, before closing out today's vlog, we want to remind you to be brave like Beckham and we will catch you in our next video. Mr. Beckham, do you want to blow a kiss? <gasps> Should we blow a kiss? Ready, set,